Hey guys, what's everybody doing out there today? So, I've been getting some uh, some pretty good feedback about my beast here, the Titan. Um, been getting some pretty decent feedback, which is what I wanted. I wanted some negative and some positive feedback on a video I did probably a few months ago now. Um, it was a should you buy it video. It said, should you buy it, uh, Nissan Titan. Now, more people than not have been uh, real or have been saying that I was making it out to make this truck look like a really bad truck because mine was bad because I, all of the issues that I've had with it. Well, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, the issues that I had wrong with my truck was because of myself and because of the previous owner before me. Um, I'm not going to say I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that I baby it. I am hard on that truck. I have been ever since I got it almost three years ago now. I mean, I'm not as hard as I used to be on it since I have a child now and uh, and uh, we mostly drive around. Like that's our only vehicle, so I kind of have to baby it a little bit. But when I first got it and we had, back then, uh, we were just freshly married, me and my wife. We had, you know, a Buick LeSabre was our family vehicle and we had her car that was a 99 Mustang and we actually and we also had my truck before I bought the Titan which was a 99 GMC Z71 absolutely loved that truck too made all made all I also made a should you buy it video on those body style GMC and Chevrolet pickups go feel free to check it out on my channel here but I bought that truck and then we sold the GMC. I wanted this one because it was a truck, it was four wheel drive, and it was a crew cab. Now, first off, I just want to tell you guys, I, uh, well, first I want to say I'm sorry for the wind noise if it's coming through real bad, but I'm going to say, uh, with all the stuff that's gone wrong with my truck, I still really love that truck. I mean, it's been so good to me, other than the times that it's, you know, done what it's done through the through the, the years that I've had it but I've really only had two major problems gone wrong with it and that was the head gasket issue which inevitably made it got warm when I had to drive it from Dexter to Bloomfield it got warm in Dexter and we had to drive it back back to the house in Bloomfield really only about probably 10 miles total but it was uh it had got warm by the time we come into Dexter it was spitting and sputtering and it was trying to shut the motor off because it was getting so hot and I was just trying to lamp it back to the house I didn't really care I was like I'll fix it you know whatever whatever the case may be I'll just lamp it back to the house and I'll get it parked well, that's what I did and uh, because it got so hot it warped the heads now the heads on these are aluminum and uh, not sure if the block is too the block might be castern, but it might be aluminum. I don't really know. I'm pretty sure on the newer Titans, like, I think it's either 07 or 08 and up. I'm pretty sure they are aluminum. However, this truck's an 04 first year model, you know. But anyway, I fixed that. I fixed all that with income tax. The next year comes around and is about January of last year. So over a year ago now. Um, the, tra or the rear end was popping a little bit and uh, it ended up uh, what happened was is it dropped the pin in the differential and, and excuse me and it let the spider gears in there in the differential fall and they beat and banged off of everything and it inevitably it uh, essentially it was just shy of grenading my rear end well it was we was on we was two months out from getting my income tax, so I was like, whatever, I'll just park it up here at the shop until we get income tax, and I'll fix it up here at the shop on a weekend, something like that, or wherever. We did that. Now, ever since then, now I spared no expense on the rear end. All right, guys, I spent almost twelve hundred dollars on the on the rear end of my Nissan pickup. That's mind blowing for everybody that I tell because most people that have like a GM or a Dodge, all those parts are so much easier to get a hold of and so much cheaper 
that everybody's like, oh my gosh, you know, six, seven hundred dollars, and I got a completely built rear end in my GMC or Chevrolet pickup, you know. So they thought almost twelve hundred dollars was freaking crazy. But I wanted to get an extremely good um, Positrack limited slip differential by Yukon Gear. They hooked me up, and they also gave me, gave me a. Um, I was also able to get an OEM uh, 336 uh, ring gear and pinion gear because it messed uh, it messed up the ring gear. But if anybody has ever put it together a rear end before, you know you're not supposed to put an old pinion gear with a new ring gear. It will. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't remember what Dad said it would do, but it's not good for them. So I had to get all that stuff, and then all the fluids, and <laughs> I had to get the limited slip differential, um, uh, the fluid, whatever it is for the clutches in there. Had to get that, and had to get a new axle shaft. I'm also getting another axle shaft this year because the one that we replaced in there did not have a, a sprocket or a gear or whatever on the end of it to read my wheel speed sensor so now it won't lock into full wheel drive oh it's all right we haven't really needed it this year but i want to be able to have it on demand so we're fixing that this year with income tax which is right around the corner and after that i mean the truck will be pretty square except for the dent which i'm actually fixing to show you guys right now i'm fixing to show you guys how the truck looks and then i'm gonna start i'm gonna tell you guys all the good things about the truck and what all this thing has done for me here is my 2004 Nissan Titan. As you can see, I don't care for chrome, so I used Plasti Dip and I got rid of all that. I think it made it look a little bit better, you know. I used Peel Coat on my wheels. I used Peel Coat up here too, but it stuck a little bit better and we actually took, me and my buddy took our time on that versus how I did on my wheels. My wheels were also done long before the front end and the mirrors were done too. So that's why they look like such garbage. But as you can see here, here's the door and the dent. And uh, it actually, the reason I haven't fixed it is because it actually pinched the uh, cab right there. So if I fix it, this whole cab corner would have to be cut out and a new one put in and then a new door and then repainted. I ain't got that kind of money. And also this bed is dented. You can see, you could probably get in here with a mallet. I haven't tried it yet, but you probably could. It's got other little dents here and there. And the tailgate is pretty bad. Of course, with the tailgate, I could always just get a new one if I found a silver one. You know, it's missing the Nissan symbol. I had blue tape there for the, just like the flag I have up there. It's a blue line flag. But yeah, guys, this is my, my Titan. As you can see here, Super Chips equipped. I did buy a programmer for this. And I'm not running my fastest tune right now, but I'm running a tune to get decent gas mileage on it. It's the 87 octane tune. Because nobody around my area tunes foreign vehicles is what they tell me. They really, they can only tune Ford, Chevrolet, and Dodge. Ford, GM, and Dodge, I should say. So, that's kind of a bummer. But hopefully I can find somebody one day. Now, you know, you can see this truck obviously it looks bad because i haven't cleaned it for one but this dent right here was done by the first owner he was the one that did all of the extreme beating on this truck this is he was the one that put all the beating on the truck pretty much when i got it it was it was nothing for this truck the beatings that i gave it but as you can see i'm missing this piece i bought it like that the only stuff that i've done to this truck was painted the wheels, grill, light, and mirrors. Put the decals on it. And this. Put the Super Chips badge on it. Got the tune for it. Put different exhaust on it. And tinted the tail lights. Those are the only things I've done to it. So, and tires, obviously. But everybody has to do tires. Oh, and the license plate cover. Rolling big power. As a joke. Now this is one of the problems I've had ever since I bought the truck. It's missing this too, but look at this. I've already searched how to fix it. Might be doing it soon. If I do, I will definitely make a video on it. As you can see, the tinted taillights right there. 
So, really, guys, that's all I got on this truck. Like I said on, at the beginning, I really love this truck. This truck's done a lot for me. In races, it's, uh, I haven't lost very many races in this truck. The only races that I really lost in this truck was I raced one of my buddies. Uh, he, had a, he had a little four-cylinder, but it had... It was a Saab 93 is what, it, what it's called. Uh, so, uh, 2.0 turbo. It's got a two liter four cylinder in it with a turbo, obviously, hence the name. Well, he had a stage three turbo put on it and he has a stage two tune on it and he has a cold air intake. So, you know, it, it ran good. Um, I raced him before I fixed my exhaust leak. I had an exhaust leak on the exhaust manifold. The gasket was bad. I actually just fixed it last weekend. So today is Friday. So I don't know when everybody will see this video that does see it, but um, let's see, I fixed that, but I raced him whenever my exhaust leak was bad. But other than that, same setup, other than I was running my 93 performance tune at the time, and I bumped it all the way up to the best I could do with the tune. And I ran 93 performance and I put three degrees of timing in it. I advanced it three degrees. That made it run like a freaking rape dape, although it did go through gas like a son of a gun. Anyway, he, uh, we raced, and, uh, off the line, I, with my built rear end, off the line, I just straight slaughtered him off the line. And we got all the way up to about 80 miles an hour, and then we hit the, that was about the eighth mile mark, you know, in probably seven seconds, eight seconds, something like that, probably. Um, not really sure I was paying attention more to my shifting because I was I put it all the way I had the shifter in the center console so I can put it all the way down in first and then hit second and then hit third and then I, I just put it up in drive after I get to the top of third gear because then it'll go to fourth and then when I let out of the gas it could just go right into fifth so I don't have to do it myself um, like I said um, I had him all the way up until about the eighth mile. We hit 80 miles an hour, and he just blew my doors off. So in the quarter mile, he would straight smoke me. But in the eighth mile, I'd kick his butt. And he told me that personally. Real good friend of mine. We're in the guard together. Um, I did race another friend who kept up with me in his uh, Chevy. He has a 94, I believe, Chevy Camaro with 3.8 V6. But it's a five-speed. And uh, he got off the line good both of us got off the line really good now same setup with my tune only i didn't have the three degrees of timing in it it was just standard i didn't add, i didn't advance the timing at all but we took off and as soon as i hit second gear i jumped out on him a little bit and then we both of us stayed right there the whole time his front wheel or his front bumper was at, about at my rear wheel so um, it was a good race. I did beat him, but he was right there. So had he got, or had he treed me, he would have beat me. So, you know, it just comes, to, it just comes and goes. And also I raced another friend who I'm in the guard with. All three of these friends I'm in the guard with, um, has a 2013 Ford EcoBoost. Now, as you guys probably know, these EcoBoosts are pretty hot. Now... The first race, both of us took off, and his his truck also has a uh, limited slip differential. Actually, he's got an electronic locker in it too, which he had engaged to make him have full, you know, potential at the takeoff. Well, we took off, and I got a terrible launch, straight up smoked the tires all the way through first gear, and my bumper was out about his back door, and that's where we stayed the entire length of whenever we stopped. Then. We turn around and we did it again the other way, and he got a crappy takeoff. He he took off about the same way I took off the first time, and I took off good. And his front bumper was at about my back door, and that's where we stayed. So our trucks were even, obviously same tune, um, no timing advance, 93 performance, with the exhaust leak and the same exhaust setup that I have now. I also have a cold air intake on it. It's a K and N. 
uh, 77 series. I don't care for it much because the tube is too small for my liking. I'd like to have a bigger tube, like a three, three and a half inch tube, something like that. But it is what it is. So with that being said, guys, this is gonna be should you buy it part two. And I think if you like the truck and you test drove it and you know the thing's pretty hot, I mean, just try it. I mean, most people, most people say I'd never buy a foreign vehicle and I used to be the same way. But I'm gonna tell you guys right now, just like the Toyota Tundra, the Nissan Titan is made in the US. So it's not, it's only made, it's made and sold in the US and Canada. So no other country that I know of gets this this kind of full-size pickup from Nissan so they're American made I mean they've got they've got the exact same axle setup almost let me you know anybody in the comments feel free to um, not be an ass about it but feel free to uh, fill me in on how how wrong I am but as far as I know they have the same axle design at least as a Ford pickup does so of that year model so I think if you guys if you got should you buy it and I'm gonna say yes go ahead buy it it they are they're great trucks I've talked to several people that have Nissan Titans nobody's had the problems that I've had out of them and everybody loves them they perform so well there's only been one person that I know of two people that I know of that didn't like their Titans and it's because they were trying to haul stuff with it that a three quarter ton pickup should haul. So, it's just, it's one of those things guys. Go ahead, you'll, you'll really like it. You will not regret it. So that's gonna do it for this upload guys. If you did like the video, please feel free to subscribe and make sure you become no, part of the notification squad. And that will be it. And I will see you guys in the next upload. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Please feel free to subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next upload.